two of Manchester's most notorious gangs, Gooch and Doddington, have a history going back to the 1980s. But the summer of 2007 was one of the most violent that Greater Manchester has ever seen. Barely a week went by without a shooting. Last week you have three, yeah? Yesterday, when you in your house, you hear gunshot again. It's getting really out of hand. Not getting better, it's getting worse. You don't know if you're safe walking through the park anymore, you know. And then events took a tragic turn. On June the 15th, in the fifth drive-by shooting that week, Yu Cal Chin was shot dead in his car on Anson Road in Longsight. CCTV showed that a silver Audi had pulled up alongside his red Renault Megane and shots were then fired at him. He'd been targeted by the Gooch gang. They believed he was part of the Longsight crew, a gang affiliated to Doddington, Gooch's longtime rivals. A family of a man shot dead in South Manchester on Friday have paid tribute to him. Yukal Chin, who was 24, was killed in Victoria Park as he drove along Anson Road. His family said he was a humble and compassionate young man who always put others before himself. But the fatal violence didn't end there. At Yukal's funeral the following month, gunmen pulled up in three cars and sprayed bullets at the mourners. Among them were women and children who were gathered for the wake on Frobisher Close. One of those bullets hit Tyrone Gilbert, killing the 23-year-old. It's time this gun thing's come to an end now. It's time. Too many boys are going. Too many lives are going. Free my kids and free Tyrone's mum and family. And it's going to carry on now through the rest of our lives. He's not even going to see his daughter. Many people were there the night that Tyrone was killed, but it was proving difficult to find witnesses brave enough to testify against the gang members. It's three weeks since 23-year-old Tyrone Gilbert was murdered in South Manchester, and police have been putting up posters like this one in the area today to try and get more witnesses to come forward. Tyrone was shot in long sight while he attended the wake of Ukal Chan, a man who was shot dead a month earlier. Eventually, the breakthrough came. Using the signals from mobile phones, detectives placed the men at the scenes of crime at the time the shootings happened. Police then took unprecedented measures to protect witnesses, offering anonymity and immunity from prosecution. That led to a former gang member coming forward with vital evidence. Since the men were first taken into custody, some estimates say there's been a 92% fall in gun crime in South Manchester. The chief prosecutor described this case as the biggest trial in the region since Shipman. Many hope it marks the end of a very dark chapter in Greater Manchester's history. Ben Bland, Channel M News.